Right, okay, back again. Um, I'm doing a little session now, which is basically, it's gonna be a 12 minute video, what I believe that the kids can do every day. Um, a 12 minute exercise. And if they do the 12 minutes a day, I believe that come the end of this lockdown, when we're going into our, back to our teams and into our normal football, uh, all of them will be noticeable. Even if we can't, all the differences will be noticeable. Even if we can't um, do the live sessions, what I'm doing and all the rest of it, if we can just do this 12 minutes every day, then then do it. Still do the live sessions, but if we could do this every morning or lunchtime, it's only 10, 12 minutes, will be uh, a much better player for it. So I'm gonna use Finley, Finley, take that off, you won't be able to do it with that Ranger. So I'm gonna use Finley for this one. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to keep the sessions relative. Um, and by that, I mean, I want, I want everyone to be able to do them. So there's no point in me using Luke for all of the sessions when Luke's quite a good player. If, if there's people that can't keep up. So if we use Finley for some of them, obviously he's learning as well, so it'll be good for him. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Finley some moves. Finley, if you could do them right here, just in front of that cone, because that's in the perfect position. So I'll give Finn some moves, he's gonna do them, and that's gonna be my 12 minute session. Right, Finn, can you start off with, mate? You've got it right down. Soul taps, go. Right, so nice and easy, soul taps, um, really simple move, um, pretty sure most of you will be able to do them, soul taps, one minute, one minute of soul taps, right thing, going to some shuffles, keep it nice and close, So Finn is eight years old. Finn is eight years old. Um, look, can you see me on that camera properly? We'll just check. Finn is only eight years old. Um, he turned eight in January. Um, so yeah, so he's a good person for me to use for you to get used to these sessions. Right now we'll go shuffle stops. So now it's a shuffle, one, two, three. One, two, three hits and then a stop. And basically what you need to be doing is you need to be starting on the same foot that you stop the ball with. So you go one, two, three, you stop it with the right, and then you start it with the right. And if you do three on the next round, you'll stop it with your left and start it on your, your left. So you're always rotating foot, always stopping on a different foot each time. Right, Finn, can you go one, two, three, stop, take? Yes. So now it's all one, two, three, stop, take. So again, so now we've done a minute of sole taps. A minute of shuffles, keep going buddy, one, two, three, stop, take. A minute of shuffle, uh, soul taps, a minute of shuffles, a minute of shuffle stops. Now we're doing a minute of shuffle, stop, take. So when you do your shuffle, stop, take. So it's one, two, three, stop, take. One, one, two, three, stop, take. And you're using the outside of your foot to kick the ball, a little outside. So that's a minute of those. Right now then, Finn, back on the comb, on that comb. Now we'll do a little bit of dribbling. So it's a little bit of dribbling there. So now you're gonna go dribbling from that comb down to there. And I wanna see you do it with the inside and your outside of your right foot. So inside, outside, right foot only. Yeah, you're good. So now all he's doing is with his right foot, using the inside and the outside. Inside, outside. Okay, again. On my right foot. Yeah, on your right foot. Just do a couple of those. Go on, keep going. Right, and now change your foot please, Finn. So we've done, um, I'll go over it again. We've done sole taps, shuffles, shuffle stop, shuffle stop take. Now we're doing inside outsides on the right foot. Inside outsides on the right foot. And now he's doing inside outside on the left foot. Yeah, so it's a minute of each. Each one, one minute. And I'm a coach who's not into 
all this super passing and that, all that can come later on. If we can teach the kids to be happy and comfortable on the ball, teach them how to dribble, the passing and all that can come in later. Let's make sure that we've got a load of little players that can actually use the ball and work with the ball before we start drumming passing into them. Right now, then, what I want you to do is left foot, uh, inside to outside, swapping feet. So go on the left and the right. So now we're doing inside to outside, swapping feet. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So you go outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside. And so on. So Finn's done these with me before, all of my team, my team Zach, Brandon, Braden, Vinny, Ryan, Lily, um, Carl, little Teddy, we've all been doing these moves for quite a long time. So they're, they're all sort of quite natural to the boys and all of my boys and girls will like to sort of get the ball and run at the other team. So it's inside to outside swapping feet. Keep it going, Finn. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go laces, laces, step over. So we've just worked on the insides and the outside. Now we're going to work on the laces. So now for this one, we go laces, laces, step over. Now the, our foot is this side of the ball, so we change foot. Laces, laces, step over, change feet. Laces, laces, step over, change foot. Laces, laces, step over, change foot. Now watch, laces, laces, step over. The step over starts on my right foot and I swing my leg in towards my left. So it's in towards my left and then around. And when you do the around, you want to keep your foot nice and tight to the ball. You don't want to be doing all of that and because it, it, it's not how it's done. So it's laces, let me come back a little bit with the ball. So it's laces, laces, step over. Nice and tight. Laces, laces, step over. Laces, laces, step over. Go on, thin on your toes a little bit. And you want to try and keep on your toes. You don't want to be flat-footed on the balls of your feet. You want to try and do it so you've got a little bit of movement about you. Try and do it so you're fast and you can go quite quick. No, get it nice and tight. Right, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little tiny bit of passing, but the next thing that I want the kids to do is a bit of creative dribbling. One minute of creative dribbling. So now that's them doing exactly what they want to do. So Finn, go on mate, have one minute doing what you want. And this is where, if you're with them, you want to encourage them to try things. Um, they're only young, most of you know, they're children. Um, they're young, let's, let's encourage them to experiment, to try stuff. If they do something different, give them a bit of praise, a bit of credit for it. So let's just get them going, see what they can come up with. Um, I say it to my kids all the time, try something new, try something new, you never know what you'll come up with. Um, all of my players, every single one of the players that play for me, none of them are one bit bothered, none of them are scared about doing something a little bit different when we're playing a match. Um, a couple of times it hasn't come off and every one of my players will tell you the same thing. If they try something and it don't come off, I tell them to try it again and keep going until it does work. Um, they're only children, we've got to work on their creativity and, and you know, get them trying stuff. We can't hinder it, we can't slow them down. So Finn's just having w one minute of creative dribbling. So this session, one minute of soul taps, one minute of shuffles, one minute of shuffle stops, one minute of shuffle stop takes. Yeah, that's all we do with the ball at our feet. Finn's just gone over. Um, then we're going to do insides, outsides with the right foot moving while we're dribbling. So that's insides, outsides with the right foot, insides, outsides with the left. Then insides, outsides, swapping feet. All only for one minute each. Then when we've done that, um, it's laces, laces, step over. Laces, laces, step over. Laces, laces, step over. Uh, and then one minute of creative dribbling. The next thing that we're going to do is a little tiny bit of passing. Um, against the wall. 
Uh, I'll give you an idea of what I want, um, but I'm going to have to turn off and come back to you.